Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of a Let's Play Rem World. We are in our lumber mill area, and we've got a pirate attack coming in here with incendiary launchers and frag grenades. So it's time to wake everyone up and get them out to the front, which in this case is going to be... Do I still have a restriction? I do have the home-only restriction on. Whoopsie-daisy. That was from uh, the last, like, raid. Unselect BLC. Grab everyone else. Stick them over here don't have the cover we're gonna build this later and that's gonna give us a lot more cover options but I mean it is what it is over here the short range people I might get you guys to like just duck in here for now um, the LMG has got fairly decent range maybe from there you're gonna be okay uh, Max has got the sniper rifle so let's move you up um, I mean we could hide behind some of the trees here too Rose got the melee weapon. I'm just going to hide you over here in case someone decides to make a run up for us. Um, let's go there. And there. Bizarro, just stay there. Okay. We'll see where they decide to go. They might be wandering around a fair bit more widely. It said that they had sappers that were going to try to tunnel through my defenses. I'm like, I don't really have any, but I appreciate, you know, the compliment, I guess. So we're going to take some pot shots at them from this angle. This is the guy I'm really concerned about, is the one with the, um, the frag grenades. Well, that and the incendiary rifle. So I'm just going to have to be ready to run back here. Oh, you got taken down pretty early. Excellent. Shotguns down as well. That's good news. And so Pratt over here. I'm going to melee attack you. What's, on, what's actually on fire? Oh, we have two incendiary guns. Ooh. Fabian's actually on fire. And now he's in the line of fire from everyone, so he's probably going to get shot by my own people. I don't think either one of these are firing right now, so let's move you up to around here. You're in the water right now, so that's a good spot to be. Fabian, I'm going to get you to just run away, actually. And we'll see if we can draw these people a little further forward. Because right now, he's just standing out there alone. Ro has gone and taken out Pratt. Uh, Ro, you're going to go and hide in here. Alberoni is going to try to cover this angle after they take out that gun. Oh, seriously? That's annoying. Alright, move back, move back, move back. BLC, I know this is scary, but I'm going to try to get you to rescue Fabian. Oh, and we've got the turret coming in as well. There we go, now they're fleeing. So, anyone want to capture here? Abrasive, psychically dumb. Meh. Just strip them down first. Pratt is too smart. No. We're going to strip you down before you die. Not that your stuff is probably worth much. No one's wiggling around over here. We'll just unrecruit you. Anyone else still recruited? I don't see any underlines, so I guess that's going to be okay. I'm going to unforbid everything. So the assignments here are okay. The restrictions, unrestricted. Good, good, good. Fabian, how badly hurt were you there, buddy? Rib, finger, I don't think that's new. Got some burns and some gunshots. I think you'll be all right. I'm hoping you'll be all right. We had a few people bleed to death recently, but... And a mad animal. Eh, it's just a rat. Actually, it's going after the pirates here first. Um, and we do... We don't have a gun here anymore. Um, it is queued to be rebuilt, which is good. We've got some scraps. Oh, um, finish off. Finish off. Oh, there is someone over here wiggling. Hold on. Prostophile Night Owl, Green Thumb. You do have an injury to your spine, but not necessarily a permanent one. Um, who's sort of close-ish? I guess it is going to be you. Capture this person. Go, go, go. Okay, the rat got shot. Yeah, we got ourselves a prisoner. Now, they were lying there for a while. Wouldn't surprise me if they die. How recruitable are you? Oh, really recruitable! Excellent. 
I don't think we have normal medicine, but we will open that up anyway. And the chatter and recruit, and we get food. You're gonna get stew. Actually, that's good for you. A little bit less pain. A boost your consciousness and metabolism, blood filtration, blood pumping. Although maybe we don't want to blood the blood to pump faster right now since you're actively bleeding. But you're patched up. That actually might work out really well. We actually might want to put down a little sterile floor right by these prisoner beds, actually. It's not a terrible idea. It uses up some silver, but... Might be a good long-term investment. Alright, but so far everyone's kind of okay. Uh, let's haul that shotgun in and that thing because it's worth a ton of money. Same thing here. There we go. Some valuable stuff. We can go hunting with the um, with the frag grenades if we want. And some berry wine. Well, let's bring that in right away too. It's not really as high, high priority, but what the hell. So, you're doubly not incapable of walking anymore. That was an interesting pair of messages. I don't know why that is. Okay, apparently that stew does not last very long. But at least temporarily you get a boost to it. So, you know what? That's okay. Might help you make it through. And that would be, I think, very wonderful and helpful. Harvest some hay grass. Well, I mean, our, our alpaca count keeps going up. So getting more and more hay grass probably isn't so bad. We have a dead alpaca there. I think that was just one that was being hunted or something. Fabian, what are you doing? You're cremating. No, you're not actively bleeding, so I guess that's okay. And cremating is set as, like, a number one priority, so it actually overrides their level two bed rest, which... Eh, sure, it's fine. Okay, then you're gonna go back to rest. That's okay. BLC having a smoke again. Alberoni researching our deep mineral scanners, which is gonna be very nice to see. Batteries are halfway okay, actually. I mean, it's the middle of the night. They might still run low a little bit, but we are working forward er, towards better stuff. You're going to mine that and then start working on the tunnel, I guess, which may or may not be valuable. This might be a good place to put in a ground scanner. I don't know. Not the ground scanner. Whatever. The other scanner, which we haven't actually researched, although it researches very quickly. Food poisoning? Oh, come on. I thought we were over that shit. Well, why do you eat a simple meal? There's all sorts of fancy meals over here. There's stew. Like, what? Did you just... Were you just hauling it? Did you prioritize something odd? Hmm. It does seem a little bit weird. But yeah, cooked meals, we're doing all right. We've got fancy things, little treats for people. We're still hunting a little, which is okay. Alpaca 9 is being hunted by... No! No! Going crazy. Got him. How dare you go for one of my pet alpacas? Well, we're eating we're eating panther tonight. We should get a bonus. There should be like bonus XP for killing a different difficult animal. I don't think that's how the game works. But it feels like it should be. So we got lots of psychoid leaves. Turn our Oh! We recruited you! Hey, welcome! I mean, you're still a little injured, but not too bad. We are going to rename you. I'm nearly out of people who've donated to the extra life thing. But still not quite. There were too many of you people. So many awesome people. Uh, you are... This name is going to be too long. This is the Mayor of Brussels. So, I'm just going to call you Mayor Brussels. Which is, by the way, excellent name, the Mayor of Brussels. Thank you very much. But it would be too long for the game. So, Mayor Brussels over here. Welcome to the group. We're going to... Where are you? Right over here. We're going to paste in some of the default kind of behaviors over here. And... Um, you have a lot of passion for animal handling, but you suck at it. You do actually shoot pretty well. You know, I mean, other than hauling, hunting's really the only thing you do. I mean, Assace is also basically only a hunter. Same thing here. Do we want more? Maybe. As long as they keep getting given fairly accurate weapons. And fairly long-range weapons. They probably won't murder each other constantly. Probably. 
We do need those bedrooms, though. Um, this got built up, which is good. So let's go ahead and get furniture. We'll get some double beds in here. Um, I don't know if you'd be able to get to both sides. So let's do this and that. And we'll make sure that they're at least, I don't know, at least good quality. We'll probably need to get some lighting and stuff in there for now. But let's just get actual beds up. Um, this might be a good area for a big bedroom, I think, assuming everything is buildable here. Um, I don't think we're going to increase our planting in this area, so let's just go ahead and do a big sort of like... I just want to... Win Whoa, yeah, it's not really buildable. But some of it is. Let's do this for walking. Yeah, we can have a little building. Yeah, we, we, can, we can use this space a little bit. Let's go ahead and floor it up just so that we can see exactly where where we can be. We'll use a fair amount of wood, which we actually don't have stored as much anymore. We have to do more active wood chopping. Some trees will get chopped over here, though. And yeah, we have to uh, drain the swamp a little bit more. Yeah, it's too bad we couldn't do the moving water here. That's really too bad. Yeah, that's mud. Which slows us down as well, so clearing that is going to be handy. Yeah, I'll set that up. Maybe set up some new bedrooms over here, but we do have to get our way over to the steam geyser. Some minor brick risks. Overall, pretty okay. Mayor of Brussels, you're still getting a little bit of extra treatment for those wounds, but you're you're over it. And oh, you're a night owl. Also, I need to. So your sleep schedule. No, no, no. And sleep. Mayor of Brussels. Go to bed at like eight. Um, what was the other thing I was going to do? I know, green thumb. It's mood bonus for every plant. And you got a little bit of passion, so we definitely have to make sure that's on for Mayor of Brussels, which... It is. Okay. Well, that's fine. And yeah, you'll do some hunting as well. Also fine. Emu Revenge. Yeah, I say, that's probably okay. Although, every now and again, we'll go over there and find out that someone's being obliterated. There's a mod um, that allows your people to carry, like, a couple of weapons. Like, a melee weapon as in addition to their rifles and whatnot. Which, I don't, it's pretty realistic and it's very tempting to go and implement that over here. Because, yeah, every time someone closes in with you on melee range, you're just sort of boned. We almost have... That research done. I mean, it's not like we're out of minerals yet. We're just, like, kind of short on people we actually want to have spend time mine. Fire starting spree. Max, really? Tell you what I'm going to do. Because we're going to need a fair amount of minerals, I'm sure, for the mines and the power. I actually will go and set, like, a top-level priority for everyone to finish mining out everything that can happen. Although, you know, put out fires first. Recruit and recruit. Keep these fires down. Um, but other than that, yeah, we'll go on a big bulk mining thing, finish this all up so we'll have the material to set up the, um, the automated permanent miners. Well, I don't know if they're permanent or not. I, I don't know. I don't know how quick they are, but as long as, ideally, I'm hoping they're kind of per permanent but slow, and we can do that. So we'll use all this to set up our, um, yeah, geothermal and some sort of mining hookup. As soon as we get our scanner. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. And uh, I was going to say, yeah, we can get the plasteel over here. Snake, you stay away. Stay away, snake. I'll put you on combat mode. Instead of running away mode. Tap, tap, tap. There you go. So everything else in our base is basically shut down right now. But luckily we have enough food. Everything's Everything's okay. We can tolerate doing this, and then we can get some really efficient hauling back after, which is going to be kind of nice to see. There'll be all chunks of 75 being hauled simultaneously. Get in our storage, know what we've got. Yeah. And yeah, keep up the component production too, which turns out to be pretty required here. Should I plop down some of this stuff already? I might want to actually start the prep work over here for a geothermal generator. Um, that is going to have a slight amount of floor around it. Keep that area clear. Followed by um, some walls made out of, say, slate. And 
and to prevent fires, some slate flooring, perhaps. Slate tiles. There we go. And obviously you'll need a power connection out there as well. So we'll do that. I mean, maybe it's nuts to build it all now, but I don't know. I think it's probably okay. Boom. All right. And you're going to go butcher someone. Okay. I think we'll have enough material to set that up. And then, yeah, and that's probably more important to get the power up first before the miner. Because without power, we're going to be kind of screwed in a lot of ways. And without a miner, well, we might still be able to buy some steel from some passerbys. And at least with the power, we can run the uh, the smelting operation, for example. So that's also going to be good. Yeah, I kind of like the way that this is going. So they're still going to finish all that, that bulk mining. And I'm cool with it. So we didn't reveal anything interesting over here. That's too bad. Oh, well. I was hoping there'd be another, like, chunk of steel in the middle. The odds of missing that are very, 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 very slim. Very slim. So, I'm just going to assume there isn't any in there. Lighting's really weird right now. Between, like, the fog... I guess it's foggy rain. Yeah, it's the fog, the rain, and the nighttime. It looks really bizarre. Now, we probably have some people sleeping on the ground. That could temporarily turn some of these beds over to something else. Paisley process. Friend died. Hungry. Friend died. Worn out apparel, a little bit of pain. Everything sucks. You should get stoned or something. Although, I wonder if I'm making enough smoke leaves. That I should just go and turn on social drugs for everyone. It's kind of nice not to have everyone have a massive consciousness hit for, like, regular activities. But we may need to make people a little bit happier. Not that we have too many. We only have one minor break risk right now. It's row. No major break risks really happening. I think overall we're doing pretty good, actually. So yeah, the mining's going to be slow for a lot of these people. I'm not doing anything else. But we've got our food. Um, it means we're not actively growing plants the same way, but hopefully we're not, nothing is waiting for a harvest. I think we're mostly okay right now. And our booze, where's our booze? Over here. Oh, we got beer. Oh, this door is open, which is not good because it's too hot. Urgently haul. May as well hurl all this as well. I did not expect that. So now that we have undistilled vodka, we can... I think... I thought it was here. Oh, distilled vodka. There we go. Uh, do forever. Actually, here. Go it up. If we've got any undistilled vodka, turn into proper vodka right away. Turkey meat is rotting away. Oh, because... Because our storage here is full. Okay, seriously. Oh, nothing can hold undistilled vodka. Because it's a new thing, so not all the recipes are here. Ingredients. Sugarcane. Like, you're allowed to have everything in there. Okay. If I tell you to do this now, there we go. Excellent. Keep that door closed. Although, luckily, this cooler was still going, so it might have been okay. Incapacitated refugee person. Might be dangerous there. We can't. I'm sorry. We don't have, like, the long range. Well, no, we actually have a fair amount of survival meals now. They're not stacked for some reason. I guess because they have different ingredients. It didn't occur to me that that might be a problem. Well, that's okay. And yeah, I mean, we could, in the end, just leave the, like, top priority mining on for everyone. Well, probably not. It depends on whether or not someone's got to work that drill. But, like, we just won't have anything else flagged for it, so it's not going to hurt anything one way or another. Which maybe is the way it should have been a little earlier, but that's okay. More bird meat is rotting away, and we're still hunting at the same time. So, how's the actual cooking up here? Max, what are you making? You're making simple meals. Because that's probably all you can do.
And some stuff might not be being hauled properly because everyone's busy mining. Oh, it's this stuff here that's rotting. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's okay. So it's just a slight hauling glitch more than a storage one. And it's because everyone's busy mining. But they're probably going to be almost done. Not quite, but nearly so. Maybe what I'll do is I'll turn off mining except for the people with passion for it right now. There you go. You guys do that. Yeah, Jetlander's a cooking job, and then you've got that. But everyone else can go back to their normal stuff, including a fair amount of hauling and crafting. We've got some tattered apparel. Quite a bit of tattered apparel complaints. Just trying to run out of room for our llamas over here. Alpacas. Ah, every time. A little bit more research. We're very close. This is a big, like, research. It's like 6,000 tech. Psychic drone! Mm, half our people are going to be very cranky here. But, again, mostly we're keeping people pretty happy. We can keep them happier if they were allowed to have drugs all the time. Hey, Trump is pregnant again! Tell the world! A little bit more meat rotted away. We're okay on here, temperature-wise. Yes, everything is good. Everything is swell. Got some more beer kicking around here. I don't know. Social drugs? Maybe. Got some more trees being flagged for chopping. These are always going to be fully grown trees, which is why they're a little further away from our center here. But I'm okay with that. Not that we have a lot of storage. What is this? War mask. Yeah. Research. Break risks. Hauling. Harvesting potato plants. Not to mention needing to get into storage. It's a good thing we have more than one cook, because someone can be working this while, you know, other things are going on. Not to mention some of the butchering. So, what's BLC up to, for example? Okay, you're still mining here. Right, because that's still a top priority thing for you. And Jutlander, if you're not resting, it'll be the same sort of thing, which, one less cook, but that's not the end of the world, because we do have some others, and we have plenty of food ready. Storage is a little tight. I could, um, in my management set, it might be a good idea for the hunting rules. Um, to keep a lower target count. There you go. Ha keep half as much meat around. Not as many things will be flagged to be hunted. Another alpaca is pregnant. Rose gonna make some stew with potatoes. Potatoes and meat. Sounds delicious. Sounds like an ideal stew. Alright, lots of steel over here. Eventually it'll get hauled in. Some steel over here, and I mean, we can use it for construction jobs. Might want to make a high priority haul on it just for convenience of things. You know what? I do. I like it. Because I want, like... Oh, food poisoning from a bowl of stew. Is it one you just made? I want, like, bulk hauling, as opposed to, like, someone going out there and picking up 10 steel for a job. I want people to come haul in chunks of 75, get it in our base, and then that optimizes everything else. So, actually, I'm very, very pleased to do this. So, as far as I know, all the steel is done. Just the plast steel. Rose going on a uh, smoke leaf binge. Hey, fine. Yeah, we've, we've stripped mine the entire map. So we'll get the power up. Maybe I'll change this to... 20 components instead of 35. And maybe what we'll do is we'll suspend the advanced component job for now. Because we don't really need them, and that'll start to consume things. There's a job started already that ate some of our components. So, we'll just wait until we actually need them. Psychic drone is ending. Good, that's going to help. Uh, bowl of stew. More food poisoning. Also, that thing is keeping this door open, which is kind of annoying. More food... Po uh, someone did a really bad job with the bowl of stew. Um, just out of curiosity, is there a skill requirement for this? I don't know, but let's make sure... You need at least a four skill. I don't know if it matters. There we go. We're going to put in some lower limits on a couple of those things, just in case that was the thing. There's a big pile of vomit there, but that's Roe. That's probably from her being sick. Oh my god, the stew is just... It's just death stew! Ugh! Alright, yeah, go and haul more steel for us. Thank you. And we got the plastic steel over there. We got lots of that. We could consider selling some of it. I think we need a bunch of robotics, though. 
Uh, I don't have the robotics mods installed. I don't think. Although they're probably updated. Did I just... I don't remember if they... Why I'm not running them or what. Yeah, they may have not been updated for beta 18, but they probably are now, and I think they're safe to add to an existing save. We've got enough people on this one. We probably don't need to do robots, actually. So I don't know what we'll do with all the plasteel. Maybe you get to do cool prosthetics. That's entirely possible. Just turn our people into cyborg people. I think we're trying to recruit a prostophile. I don't know if we've got one, though. All right, you can make the joints. And you do drop them right away. But yeah, that's right. You've got the, uh, the while you're up. So you'll just haul on the way to something else if it happens to be convenient, which is good. Got some more herbal meds coming in. Excellent. Um, make medicine. There we go. Let's make this a top priority job. And do until... I don't know, 35 sounds pretty good to me. To try to keep around. We need minimum skill, 6 medicine, 3 crafting. Need herbal med, neutromine, and cloth. So we need crafters who also have medicine skill to go and produce those things. Um, is it 6 medicine? So it might be a little tricksy. Oh, it looks like Ro might be a good pick for that, actually. Yeah. When you're not cooking and poisoning everyone. Hmm. Can I prioritize you working at the drug lab? Please and thank you. Yeah, make some medicine. There might be a lot of that, of like manually flagging people to do this. Because there's actually a lot of crafting jobs, and I'm getting the sense that a few of these, like you need the that intellectual skill or whatever. Minimum skill, eight. Was this not the one with the intellectual one? No, it was the drug lab. Ground penetrating radar. Done. Awesome. We get a television in the hospital, so that still might be a fun thing. I kind of want to, like, look at more crop type stuff, although we don't really have that much planting bits. Synthetic organs. Next time someone loses a kidney. Power armor. Tissue printer. Hmm. Make fancier guns. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's all pretty good. It'd be great to just make, like, charge rifles en masse, though, wouldn't it? Let's see what we can do to do that, because we haven't gotten a single charge rifle yet, and it'd be amazing to have our entire group be filled with charge rifles. Okay, so let's see here. We've got the deep drill. Ground penetrating radar. 12 components. Downward facing penetrating radar combined with sonar and magnetic imagers allows you to detect but not identify minerals deep, buried deep with under the surface. Requires a huge amount of electricity. Mm, it doesn't say how much though. Well, let's get the electricity hooked up first. And that's going to be okay. So BLC might be still be spending some time mining over here. Which, I'm going to go ahead and turn that down to a 3 now for these guys. We don't need the, um, we don't need the plasteel that much. Hey, could you, um, on your way back, could you just, uh, haul this bolt-action rifle? Thanks. Um, yeah, we don't need the plasteel that much right now. Go and get your sleep, and then we'll see about getting some construction going on again here. Now, this thing is broken down. It needs a component. It's kind of, and we have zero components. Did we seriously just get checkmated on components here? <laughs> Hopefully someone will uh, come by and trade. Undistilled vodka has rotted away. Well, some things are being made there. You're making wart. I have the distilled vodka job in here as well. It'll be okay. Lots of beer accruing in here. It's not, it's not chilled beer. It's 19 degrees. Although some beers really do want to be served at about then. Or some are like... Some of the... Stronger beers are more like, serve it like 14 degrees. Just, you know, slightly below room temperature. Certainly not what you would call cool, but but nice. Well, I guess we'll put a cut in here. Um, I don't know if everyone's armed or not. We got Ro, who's just on a sad wander, right? No, binging on smoke leaf. Never mind. That's fine. It's short. Hopefully we don't have much in the way of food poisoning again. That was kind of frustrating. I'm still thinking we got to set up, like, a couple of different um, uh, electric stoves. we got to expand our kitchen sort of thing in some fashion. Although that's part of what this is for. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cancel this moisture pump. 
we're going to free up these components. Um, and then BLC, you can prioritize replacing or like fixing this. So we can start making components again. Although, that does use up steel, and we don't have an unlimited amount of that either. But at least that's a start. Do a little bit of repair. Repair the solar generator. It's not a broken down component lack. That's just like gunpowder thing. So the filling the barrels is a high priority for everyone. And I think that's okay. I don't really, you know, I think it's a short walk. Anyone can just do it and just done. You've got a lot of repairing to do. Oh, that's from the fire starting sprees. Yeah. That's true. Repairing some sandbags. Yeah, there's a lot of this stuff to do. And yeah, we might want like much bigger food storage. Now, cooking doesn't actually use that much power. I'm wondering, do we move the cooking to the other side over here? We'd really need to drive this whole area out, but that actually might be a lot better. People have to cross the river hauling the food, but it's not the worst. But yeah, we definitely need a greatly expanded food industry again. At least two of the stoves. Be good to have this indoors so that we don't get the speed penalty. Not that it takes that long to necessarily do, but... I don't know how big of a speed penalty it is, but it's not going to be great. Is that here? Or it might not just be showing up. So, you know, speed is important. So, yeah, that's the sort of thing I'm thinking about. You're definitely expanding outwards. Still waiting for some beds to be built here, because we don't have any wood. Um... We've got some available. I think I'm going to actually... I know I've got to put a cut in here. I'm going to put an explicit chop wood over here. These might not be fully mature trees, but they're a hell of a lot closer than some of the other options. And that would be good. And yeah, long construction job. BLC's going to bed, which is fair. You're still doing some research. Also fair. Yeah. Rat. We can eat the rat. All right. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.